Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're gonna be going through Gichin Funakoshi's two lost throws. In the past, I've gone through his nine throws and compared them with judo throws from the Gokyo. But today, there is like a sub lost throws, I would say, and uh, we're gonna go through them. So, typically, karate is a striking art supplemented with a little bit of grappling, while judo is mainly a grappling art with striking in its kata. So, what we will do today is go through Ian Berenthi's video. I will link his video in the description below, as well as the nine throws that I've covered in the past, um, and also go through and see the judo elements within these two throws. So, the first one is going to be nodo osai, or throat, press, or push. As you can see, there's a 1922 edition of it, where he's grabbing the wrist and pushing on the throat, and the other one where he's grabbing the leg, and pushing on the throat. So, nodo sai is throat press. Uh, it's very important that, you know, it's not about the leg grab. So, um, here, uh, this is Ian explaining it. Uh, it's mainly from someone is entering with the strike as you do this. So, you press the throat or push it, and from there, you proceed to take them down. So, here he explains that you push the throat, uh, but for safety reasons, he will push the chest in uh, sparring, and from there he goes to pick up the leg. So, this is the 1925 uh, variation. He picks the ankle, but this is not a ankle pick per se, but it's rather uh, an ochigari with a leg grab like in the old days. So, uh, notice the back step as he enters to reap. Uh, it's very judo-like and it's very impressive by judo standards. So. He's standing there to get close to the standing foot. He does a back step and from there he rotates because he explains that uh, Funakoshi in Karate Do Kyohan explains that you have to rotate as you are gripping the leg to get the takedown. So this is reminiscent of Ashidori Ochigari. Uh, here it's demonstrated by efficient judo. You can see uh, you grab the leg, you back step, enter with Ochigari and rotate uh, to get the takedown. So instead of pressing the throat you are obviously going to have a uh, lapel grip and also uh, throat pushing in judo is illegal so he enters kind of like a teguruma feint but finishes it with o uchigari as he grips uh, the lapel and rotates um, the throat push or it can be on the chin or anything even though nodo means throat it's very reminiscent of uh, aikido shomen ate still practiced today in shotokan aikido or what we call tomiki aikido uh, sometimes the push on the chin or the throat is enough to get the takedown no need for a leg grab hence the 1922 uh, variation so um, shomen ate is again reminiscent of this nodo osai or press but you know aikido is more of a strike rather than a press so the next one i didn't find so much uh judo resemblance to it uh, but more of a iriminage style like aikido so he steps on the foot which is very crucial and from there he steps between his legs and continues to push uh from there and you get the takedown so uh stepping on the foot is crucial because they cannot take a step backwards and thus they will fall down um there is no image for this as he explains but uh, there's more of a description by gichin funakoshi and thus um he was showing it as much as he understood it so it can be done in multiple variations as you can imagine um there's not much photos of it so uh, in the description you will find his video and also the nine throws that i've done in the past uh, and also consider supporting me on Patreon. I have exclusive content for the patrons only. My main content will always be here on this channel, so please don't feel obliged, but uh, your support would mean greatly. This was Shadi, and as always, thank you for listening.